everyone welcome back to my channel Merry Christmas welcome back to another day of our vlogmas this is our last day I'm so excited I'm tired I'm worn out but thank you all so much for the love for the support if you're new subscriber welcome a warm and pleasant welcome to you my name is Gifty in today's video we are making a simple meat pie recipe but we're not going to well, make the dough from scratch so it's simple very simple very easy under 30 minutes especially if you're entertaining during this festivities you know you don't want to be doing everything from scratch sometimes we have to cheat from the store so let me run you through the list of ingredients and we'll get started for my list of ingredients i have one egg that i'll use for the egg wash and then i have a cup of diced um, carrots I'm using the white and the orange feel free to use just one color I also have about a half cup of onions and I have one can of um, corn beef so for this recipe I'm going to use a puff pastry um, that is very buttery and very finicky to work with so I'm going to leave it in the fridge until we're ready to um, work with it and so I'm going to go ahead and start the filling and then once it is ready I'll show you the puff pastry so I have about a tablespoon of oil in here I'm just going to start off to saute the carrots since those are hard so I'll start to saute those first I'm going to add a pinch of salt just to season the veggies and also to kind of get it going I'll go in with the onions next and also the black pepper I'll go ahead and add in the corned beef and break it apart until everything is well incorporated and as you can see my skillet is dry so I'll go ahead and add in a little bit of oil. I'm also adding in a little bit of chili powder it kind of balances out the saltiness of the corned beef very nice so I'll go ahead and mix it all together and make sure everything is well incorporated and just let it um, cook for like literally a few seconds and I'll take it off the stove and transfer it into a bowl and then let it cool you can also add in some potatoes whatever you have on hand so that's the puff pastry that's the packaging that's what it looks like it's usually two sheets in a box and it's very buttery very finicky to work with and so to thaw it you put it in the fridge overnight um the, the night before you work with it so you leave it in the fridge and it will thaw out for you so until you're ready to work with it, don't take it out of the fridge. So I'm just unwrapping it and taking it out of the wrapper. To start off, I'm going to dust my working surface with, with some flour and I'll take one of the sheets out. And whilst I'm working with that, I'll place the other one in the fridge. I'll then go ahead and unfold that sheet. So at this point, I'll go ahead and roll it out just a little bit, not too much, just to add some length to it. And at some point you want to pick it up and also make sure you dust a little bit more flour to make sure nothing sticks. I'll now go ahead and use my pizza cutter to cut it half lengthwise and also across. And I cut mine into four pieces. You can do six pieces which will give you um, small pies. So we're going big or we're going home. All right. So I'll go ahead and brush the edges of the pastry with the egg wash. That way once we're done filling it, it can seal easily. So I'll go ahead and put um, maybe two tablespoons of the corned beef mixture in the center and then just like meat pie, you know, I'll just go ahead and fold it over and then use a fork to prick the edges. I really hope you do give this recipe a try. It will be your go-to pastry for easy meat pie days. So I'll continue to brush the edges, fill it, fold it over, and then I'll catch up with you guys later. So you can fold it into any shape that you like. You can do the regular circle that we usually do, or triangle, or square, rectangle, whatever you want. So at this point, the pies are ready to go in the oven, but before then, I'll go ahead and make an incision in the center so there can be that airflow and I will go ahead and egg wash it and we'll put it in a 400 degree oven. Make sure you preheat your oven beforehand. For your convenience, I'll leave the list of ingredients in the description box down below. And I'll put this in the oven for 20 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. So here is our puff pastry pie, very nice, golden brown, 
very flaky you know what i'm talking too much let's I'm just gonna let it cool for a little bit until it's easy to handle and I'll cut into one and show you okay so there it is it's nice and puffed up very light and flaky so just to show you this is one that I was kind of busy doing other stuff as well so the um, the pastry kind of started to fall apart and so I just rolled it into any shape and so you have to be very quick with it you know it's one of those pastries that you have to be very quick with it so, but it tastes good as well. It tastes very, very good. So I'll cut into one and I'll show you. Just look at how flaky that is. Very light and airy. Just look at that. So if you're pressed for time but want some meat pie, something quick, something easy, Go ahead and grab some puff pastry from your grocery store. You can usually find it at the freezer section of the grocery store. Very easy. Under 30 minutes, you can put this together. And very, it's very flaky, very buttery, kind of almost like melts in your mouth kind of pastry. Absolutely delicious. All right, family, that is it for today. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, series, this our holiday series. It was exciting, very challenging, but I'm glad I did it. Thank you all for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the new subscribers. You are so welcome. Thank you for your support. And to all our old subscribers, thank you so much. Couldn't have done this without you. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, remember to stay blessed, stay out of trouble, and be well. Merry, Merry Christmas. Enjoy the people around you. This is the season of loving, giving, and supporting each other. So let's do that. See you later.